So I quickly plunge it into chaos. I'm gonna prime those boards in a minute. Uh, but I want to finish this winter painting. I feel like that was the last painting of last year. And I'm just mask these areas because I want to block out here and here because then I want this, this brushwork will hopefully stand out a bit more. At the minute it's all a bit samey and I'm going to I'm going to also think do a strip across here where it's flat. Uh, but then I think I'm gonna leave it because I don't want to paint it all in. I want it quite kind of muted and her disappearing a little bit into the into the kind of background. Um, I feel like it is a very quiet winter time end of cycle reflective painting. I think that's what and I'm I am quite pleased I've just added this bit in this morning. Um kept it very grey, kept it very desaturated but I wanted a little bit of warmth but I just wanted to emphasise around the head because that's obviously that's where most of the work is so I think that's I think that's kind of worked so I want to finish her off and kind of go goodbye last year's work done full stop and and then I'm going to crack on with these next week which I'm very excited about I want to work loose and splash paint around and I also did a very big order from Jackson's actually I love their wooden panels and um, this is the biggest panel I think I've ever bought I could even use it as a coffee table to be honest it's it's a hefty one <laughs> um, so I've got kind of rectangles and squares I like working on the skinnier rectangles and I like working on squares so looking forward to that so um yeah wish me luck I think I've finished this painting what do you think don't you like it yeah that feels really good to get it finished it's, she's been hanging around for a while look how pretty Oxford is there are cyclists everywhere and they do kind of you run the risk of being run over by cyclists every five minutes but look how lovely it is we're on our way to Blackwell's which is a massive bookshop we're very excited one of those open top bus tours because I don't know where what everything is 
but it's just so beautiful, look. I'm always the one that's last with my family as well, because I'm always filming or photographing stuff, you know, I'm that annoying person. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to show you this. I'm so excited. I love it here. For breakfast. I don't have very It's like a big We're having a feast. places to tell you about but I'll, I'll be finding out next time I pop back so, but I just want to share the sights look this is a big library isn't it Lottie is it a big library? Loved it. Yeah. Yeah. the square. This is amazing. Look. So all this is the library. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't fit it all in. logical people so we're not going to go in that truck door I won't be allowed in there and then look I'm guessing that's music no, it's oh it's printing <laughs> oh my god the print right and you've been printing oh you're so lucky look at this little fella and this cheeky chappy oh you're so lucky well, I guess that would be the music yeah. Oh. Oxford, she's she's very beautiful. Where the wizards go. So this is where the wizards go. Lottie. I think I found the wizard school. This painting's been bugging me for ages. Well, I had a really good day in the studio yesterday. I've just come back now. Um, oh, you can just see it. Oh, there you go, in the corner. I'll show you what I did yesterday. I, I just wasn't happy with the abstract painting and I kept it kept winking at me and I thought right I'm going for it I wanted to turn it more into a um, I wanted a creature I wanted to have some narrative and 
I just wanted it to be more of a figurative painting and I am pleased with, I mean, there's layers and layers and days of background painting underneath. Yeah, so this sometimes happens and it can, it just makes me feel really happy and it makes me, I don't know why, it just assures me I'm on the right path. And this might sound a bit daft, but sometimes they, they just fall into place. So as I was drawing and painting him in, that dot in his eye was actually in the painting and the edge of that jawline and the edge of that ear and just those they're like little signposts kind of make me think oh he's supposed to be there now i know that probably sounds a bit wafty um and i won't be telling that to everybody just you here <laughs> um but it just kind of i don't know it just kind of gives you a little bit of yeah yeah it's okay because there was parts of the painting before I was happy with, but I wasn't 100% happy and I just knew I could never, I could never kind of let it out in the world without it, me being happy about it. I also like this, and again, quite fluky, you know, it's, I think it kind of suggests a tree, a landscape and a hill, but I didn't want it too, too defined. And I think I'm gonna put a, a moon or something like that just on the background. But I am really, I am happy, I'll show you, I am happy with the textures. You can see it's shiny because I've burnished it so much when I've been rubbing on and off. But I'm quite happy with the surface and it's got some quite deep areas of impasto on there because literally the underpainting took me days and days. And I think, I think one thing I have got to remember when I'm working is to spend more time not to well not to spend more time but not to rush what it's going to be and that's so oh she's not standing up is she she's just gonna roll away anyway that'll do and also excuse the tissue i've got a bit of a runny nose um sometimes you've just got to let it be what it wants to be when it's ready a bit like people eh <laughs> we'll only do things when we're ready won't we um, so anyway, I hope, I hope you like, I think he's finished, apart from it needs a moon, needs a moon on there, but yeah, what do you think? So I've uh, I've kind of oh what I don't know what I'm saying. 